Hi, I'm Jody Lee with DecoPack, and in this segment, I'd like to show you some tips and techniques on airbrushing and overspray. The first thing I like to do, which helps me airbrush, is I like to take uh, my figurine and kind of find out where I'm going to have placement on the cake. And I'm just going to make an imprint left to right, and then I'll go in and just kind of bring it along so now I know where to put my navy blue spray. And a wonderful technique is just take a scraper you have free sitting around, and this helps keep the overflow of the navy blue to spray into your pretty spiderweb colors. And this will just contain it quite nicely. Now be careful not to spray out the back. The spray will fall over the edge of the cake. Just kind of get a little there, a little bit here, and then I'll turn it around. And staying towards the back, I like to keep myself going into the direction towards the middle of the darkest color. If I'm spraying out this way, it's just going to go into my other colors and make them look dirty. So I'll just give a heavy hit right here like so. And any overspray is just going into here, not messing up any of the other colors. And now I'm going to start with my next color. And I like to go from the lightest to the darkest colors. That helps me to avoid having to rinse out my air gun too many times. And the Spider-Man cake will have its spray like so. Just follow the picture. And now I have my pink spray. You can use basically any kind of pink. I have a princess pink here. And this, I killed two, uh, two birds with one stone on this. I can start spraying over the yellow, because I bring the yellow out a little further than it's supposed to. The pink is turning the yellow into orange. And then you'll probably be wondering why I'm spraying pink. The pink is a wonderful base for the red. Sometimes the red can dry to a darker color. It's, it's still red, but it's not too brilliant. Um, you just want to, if you want a more brilliant red, the pink underspray brings out a beautiful red color. And notice I'm taking the red and I'm just starting in the back here. And you don't have to worry too much about overspray at all on a cake like this because the navy is pretty dark and it won't pick up the red accents. Look at how brilliant that red just popped out. And so now when this dries, it won't have a brown hue to it like it can do sometimes. Just depends on your buttercream. But this will help all buttercreams just as a reference. And now we're ready to pipe our web. Okay, we have our completed cake down here. And as you can see, here was my starter one. Happy birthday from your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And after your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man wishes you happy birthday with your food safe tray, you can place your Spider-Man on the cake. And for more action-packed licensed character cakes from DecoPack, please visit our website at decopack.com.